Hey, what's up YouTube fam? It's Ben here. Welcome back to another flow. As always, we got new classes here every Wednesday and every Sunday, so feel free to subscribe if you've been enjoying the vibes around here. With that being said, today's class is going to be more of a quick hitter, uh, a little bit of a condensed format because we're going to get right into our movements today. So the goal of today's class is simply to move, breathe, get flowing, and get the energy up uh, wherever you're at in your day. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started in an upright seated position for some brief grounding. You can sit cross-legged, you can sit on your shins, whatever feels good to you. Maybe you close your eyes and simply start to notice how the breath feels. And the breath is always the connection that we have between our minds and our bodies, what allows us to come into the present. And we'll just take a few deep breaths together before we jump into our movement. So as you're ready, take a deep breath in and a big sigh out. Deep breath in, fill up the belly. Deep breath out, let it go. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Beautiful. Open your eyes and make your way into a tabletop position. Wrists below shoulders, knees below hips, and start to take some circles with the shoulders over the wrists. Take about four circles clockwise, and then four circles counterclockwise. Notice what it feels like to bring weight into the hands today. After you finish your circle, start rolling through some cat cows or any intuitive movements. For cat cow, as we inhale, we'll drop the belly and curl the chest forward. As we exhale, we'll press everything away and round the spine. Inhales, drop the belly and curl the chest forward. Exhales, push everything away and round. Keep going through a few more rounds of cat cow at your own pace or transition into any other explorative movements, whether you wanna shift the weight side to side, whether you wanna jump rope the spine, anything is available here to help you settle into your practice and settle into your body. Keep moving around with freedom for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, start to make your way into your downward facing dog. As the toes tuck, the hips send up and back. Feel yourself land in this new space. Again, we have some time here to shift the weight around. You can bend one knee, then the other. You can drop the heels from side to side to open up the rib cages and the shoulders. Just feel the freedom here. Feel the energizing sensation of all these movements. And then we'll start to work toward stillness in our downward facing dog. Notice your breath. Feel the heels pressing down further down toward the mat. Notice what all of your fingertips are doing as we lift the hips higher, as we press the chest a little bit closer to the thighs. From here, look forward between the hands. As you inhale, lift up high onto the toes and bend the knees. As you exhale, step, hop, or float feet to hands, top of mat. Inhale, halfway lift, extend the spine forward. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, drive through the feet and rise up to stand, palms lift. Exhale, hands drop to heart center. Inhale, reach the hands up, Ordva Hastasana. Exhale, fold forward, hands reach the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palm the mat with your hands, step back into your high plank. So we're in this really strong high plank position. And know that you always have the option of dropping to your knees if that helps you find stability. Otherwise, we'll hold here for a few breaths to create that heat and energize the body. Wrap the triceps back, biceps forward. Drive through the palms, create space between the shoulder blades to so protract the scapula away from each other. Beautiful work wherever you're at. Try to notice your breath, find some ease in this high plank. And we'll be here for 10, 9, 8, 7, awesome job, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Slowly lower the chest all the way down to the mat. As the chest and belly reach the mat, we'll find a locust pose. Reach the palms out behind you and lift the feet off the mat. Lift the legs off the mat as well. 
Find the expansion in the back body. Feel the chest engage. Can you breathe through the constriction and through the challenge here? Beautiful. We'll be here now for eight, seven, six, keep working, five, four, three, two, one, release. Bring the hands down to the mat outside of the chest. Tuck the toes behind you. Flex the legs so much the knees lift off the mat. And then we'll press up to a strong high plank. Shoop. And then find your downward facing dog. When you land in down dog, pedal out the feet. Notice the new space that you have here. And then we'll go through some full sun A's. So look between the hands. Inhale, rise up, between, rise up onto the toes, bend the knees. As you exhale, step, hop, float, feet to hands, top of mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press to the feet, lift the palms high to the sky. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, sweep the hands back up overhead. Exhale, fold this and release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank to low plank. You can step back, you can hop back, you can jump back, it doesn't matter. Once you reach your low plank, your chaturanga, elbows bent, tucked into the side ribs, Find your upward facing dog, tops of the feet press down, pull the hips forward and lift the chest. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, find downward facing dog. We'll go through that a few more times, building a little bit more pace, building a little bit more energy each time. Inhale, rise high, bend knees, look forward. Exhale, step, hop, jump, feet to hands, top of mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, drive through the feet, rise to stand, palms lift. Exhale, hands drop to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palm the mat. Step, hop, float back, high plank to low plank. Inhale to your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Beautiful work. Inhale, rise high, bend knees, look forward. Exhale, step, hop, float, feet to hands, top of mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, drive the feet, rise to stand, palms lift overhead. Exhale, hands drop to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palm the mat, high plank to low plank. Step, hop, float. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Last one here, inhale, rise high, bend knees, look forward. Exhale, step, hop or float, feet to hands, top of mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, drive to stand, palms overhead. Exhale, palms to heart center. Inhale, reach the hands up, or Bahastasana. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank to low plank, step, hop, or float. Inhale to your upward facing dog. Exhale to your downward facing dog. As you get there, three deep breaths at your own pace. Land back in this shape, feel the strength in this stillness. Let those quick movements wash away as we'll begin to move into the next part of our class. We'll go through this next flow very nice and slowly and steadily the first time and then we'll build that pace and rigor and challenge. So as we inhale, right leg reaches up to the sky. Exhale, step right foot to right thumb. Come through a runner's lunge, bring your fingertips down to the mat as you lean and grow the chest forward. Then get even stronger in the legs and we'll rise up to a high crescent shape. Beautiful. Take a breath in here. And as you exhale, reach the hands forward out in front of you. Press the palms together out in front of you and notice how that activates the chest. Beautiful. With the right hand, we're gonna pull the right arm back like we're activating a bow and arrow. Open up to a wide arm twist in our crescent lunge. Left hand reaches forward, right arm reaches back as we open the chest. Good. From here, a big sweep of the right arm to reach out to the side and then forward as it meets the left hand. Lift the palms up to the sky as we inhale. As we exhale, warrior two, open it out. Feel the right knee gently pressing out to the side as the hips open. Feel the arms relax as we find some ease in this shape. Beautiful work so far. We'll straighten the right leg from here. Reach the right hand forward and then release the right hand down for triangle pose trikonasana. If you have a block, you can always rest your right hand down on a block. But for me, it feels 
pretty good to rest my right hand down on my right shin and use that to create the twist up to the sky. Take a breath in, breath out. Start to bend back into your right knee and rise back up into your warrior two. One breath in, one breath out. As we inhale, peaceful warrior, reach the right arm back behind you as we open through the right side body. Take one more inhale here. As we exhale, cartwheel the hands back down to the mat. Step the right foot back to the left for high plank. Take an inhale in high plank. Exhale, chaturanga low plank, bend up the elbows. Inhale to your upward facing dog. And exhale to your downward facing dog. Beautiful. On your next inhale, lift the left leg up to the sky. And then plant the left foot next to your left thumb. Come through runner's lunge. Fingertips come onto the mat, lean the heart forward, create strength in the legs. And then as you're ready, drive through the feet, lift the hands up to the sky, high crescent lunge. Take an inhale to reach up, exhale, reach the arms forward. Feel the palms pressing into one another. Notice the activation in the chest. With your left hand, start to pull the left arm back like you're activating a bow and arrow as we open arm twist to the left. Work through the constriction, feel the active twist in the body. And then we'll take that big sweep of the left hand out to the side and then forward as the left hand meets the right. Inhale, lift the hands up to the sky. Exhale, open out into your warrior two. Feel the hips opening, feel the legs strong, upper body softens. Begin to straighten the left leg, reach the left hand forward and then down into triangle pose. Again, opening through the heart being careful to avoid any crunching sensations in the left side body as we grow, reach, and expand. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Start to move back through your warrior two by bending into the left knee and then lifting the torso up. Deep breath in, deep breath out. On your next inhale, peaceful warrior, left hand reaches up and back. And then we'll cartwheel the hands down to the mat. Step the left foot back to the right, high plank. Inhale in high plank. Exhale, bend the elbows for chaturanga. Always an option to come down to the knees in your chaturanga. Very challenging shape. And then find your upward facing dog as you breathe in. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. One more deep breath in. One more deep breath out. Let's find some pace. Inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, plant right foot to right thumb. Inhale, rise up high crescent lunge. Exhale, reach palms out forward in front of you. Inhale, reach and twist the right hand open behind you. Exhale, sweep the right hand back toward the left in front of you. Inhale, palms lift up to the sky, high crescent. Exhale, open out to your warrior two. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, release into your triangle pose. One full breath in, one full breath out. One more breath in. As we exhale, warrior two, rise up, bend into the right knee. Inhale for your peaceful warrior. Exhale, high plank to low plank. Cartwheel the hands down to the mat and go through your vinyasa. We'll meet in our downward facing dog. When you get there, deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, left leg lifts to the sky. Exhale, left foot plants to left thumb. Inhale, lift the hands up, high crescent. Exhale, palms reach out in front of you. Inhale, pull the left hand back to open the chest. Exhale, big sweep of the left arm as it returns to the right. Inhale, palms lift overhead. Exhale, open to your warrior two. Inhale, straighten left leg. Exhale, drop into your trikonasana. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale. As we exhale, warrior two, bend into the left knee. Inhale, peaceful warrior, left hand reaches back. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down to the mat, high plank to low plank. Inhale into your upward facing dog and exhale into your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out, let's keep flowing. Inhale, right leg up to the sky. Exhale, right foot plants to right thumb. Inhale, rise up into your high crescent. Exhale, hands reach forward. Inhale, pull the right hand back to open the chest. Exhale, right hand sweeps and returns to the left hand. Inhale, palms reach overhead. Exhale, open out to your warrior two. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, drop the body down into your triangle pose. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. One more deep breath in. Exhale for warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior, right hand reaches up. 
Exhale, cartwheel the hands down to the mat, high plank to low plank. On your inhale, find your upward facing dog. And then exhale, find your downward facing dog. Take a cleansing breath in, cleansing breath out. Inhale, left leg reaches up to the sky. Exhale, left foot to left thumb. Inhale, rise up high crescent. Exhale, hands reach forward. Inhale, pull the left hand back to open the chest. Exhale, sweep the left arm back to the right. Inhale, hands reach overhead. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, drop into your triangle. Take a deep breath in, a deep breath out. One more breath in, breath out for warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior, lean back. Exhale, high plank to low plank, cartwheel the hands down, and go through your vinyasa. Your inhale brings you to upward facing, and your exhale brings you to downward facing dog. Pause here, notice your breath. Look between the palms. As you inhale, rise up high onto the toes, bend the knees. Exhale, step, hop or float, feet to hands, forward fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, palms lift overhead. Exhale, drop the palms to heart center. Pause here, we'll find some stillness. Maybe close your eyes. Relax the upper body. Relax the lower body while feeling the feet grounding down into the mat below you. Notice how the breath feels. Notice how the heartbeat is going. Maybe you feel easeful and calm after that sequence. Maybe you feel tired. Maybe you feel like that was a big challenge. Either way, there's no wrong answer. There's no wrong place to be if you're in the present moment. Having kindness for whatever shapes our body can make. Because all we can ask is that we show up. On your next inhale, lift the palms up to the sky, Ordva Hastasana. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palm the mat, step back to your high plank. We'll hold this high plank for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Drive through the palms for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Chest lowers all the way down to the mat, and we'll come into another locust pose. So reaching the palms back behind us, shoulder blades plug onto the back body. Lift the legs off the mat as well. Find the engagement in the back body. Bend your legs. Reach the hands back for bow pose. Always option to stay in locust instead, but if you find the bind for bow pose, drive the feet, lift the chest off the mat, work into the constriction. We'll be here for five, four, three, two, one. Feet return to the mat behind you. Tuck the toes, flex the legs. Palms return to the mat outside of the chest. We'll press back to high plank and then back to down dog landing back in our home base and we'll go through our flow one more time as you're ready inhale lift the right leg to the sky exhale plant right foot to right thumb inhale rise up high crescent exhale palms reach out in front of you inhale pull the right hand back to open the chest exhale big wave to close things off inhale hands lift overhead exhale open to your warrior two inhale straighten the right leg exhale drop into your trikonasana take an inhale here and an exhale. One more inhale. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, your vinyasa, high plank to low plank. On your next inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale to downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Last round through, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left foot to left thumb. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, palms reach out in front of you. Inhale, pull the left hand back to open the chest. Exhale, sweep the left hand back to the right. Inhale, rise up high crescent. Exhale, open to your warrior two. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, drop into your trikonasana. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, rise to your warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, high plank to low plank. Cartwheel the hands down, bend at the elbows. Inhale to your upward facing dog. And exhale to your downward facing dog. Take a brief pause. Beautiful movements all around. Lift the right leg up to the sky. Take a big step, right foot between the hands. Rise up through a high crescent, through a warrior two. 
Square both feet toward the left side of your mat so we're facing out toward the side. Reach the palms up to the sky. And then as we exhale, fold forward down the middle for this wide-legged forward fold. Sway the weight around, maybe crawl the hands to the left foot and then to the right foot. Just be in this space. Feel everything soften as we simply stretch out the hamstrings after that active movement. One option that can also feel nice that you'll see I'm doing is crawling the hands out in front of me for almost a wide-legged down dog type shape. This just feels nice on my shoulders and takes some pressure off of my legs. But be free. Go where it feels good for you. Beautiful. Take one more deep breath in, and one more deep breath out. Crawl the hands back underneath you, and we'll take a twist. So the left hand will ground beneath the face, and we'll twist open as the right hand reaches up to the sky and the chest opens. Work into your twist. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release the right hand down. Let it replace the left hand as the left hand twists up to the sky to open to the other side. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, release both hands down to the mat. From here, we'll bring the feet a little bit closer together and we'll just sit the hips all the way down to the mat and release the feet out in front of us. We'll get ready for a seated forward fold. So sit up nice and tall. Lift the chest, take a breath in, and then as you exhale, fold forward over the legs. You can have a soft bend in your knees to help your belly get closer to your thighs. You can rotate side to side. You can grab onto your feet. You can rest your head down somewhere. Let it be soft, settle into a still shape. Breathe deeply. Find your softness. Find your self-compassion. And then start to release and sit up tall. When you do so, we'll find a spinal twist. So hop the right foot outside of the left knee and then twist over to the right. So the right hand is gonna ground out behind you. We'll hook the left elbow on the right knee and then twist our body open using the bind between left elbow and right knee, maybe looking over the right shoulder, and then taking some deep breaths into the twist. Notice where the oxygen goes as you breathe in, since there's a lot of constriction around the mid-body right now. Be observant. Be curious. And start to unwind and take a quick little counter stretch over twisting to the left. And then unwind, extend the right leg out in front of you and we'll hop the left foot outside of the right knee. We'll start to twist over to the left, plant the left hand behind you, hook the right elbow on the left knee and use that position to twist a little bit deeper. Maybe look over the left shoulder. Take some deep breaths being here now in this shape. Wherever you're at, one more deep breath in and a deep breath out. Release the twist. Take a quick little counter stretch over to the right side. Good. And then recenter yourself on your mat so your feet will extend to the top of your mat. And then we'll roll all the way onto our backs. As we land onto our backs in this grounded position, we'll find a Supta Baddha Konasana. Feet come together, knees out wide. You can rest the hands on the heart and belly here. And just notice what it feels like as you breathe in, the belly rises. As you breathe out, the belly falls. And 
yogis, this is where I'm going to leave you all today. Feel free to continue this softening meditative journey into your Shavasana or any other resting poses. Feel free to continue this into more active shapes by continuing your practice if you'd like to. Either way, it was a pleasure to share this space with y'all, and I'll hope to see you soon on or off the mat. Until we meet again, have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace and love.